it wasn't for the blood flowing from his nose and mouth, you'd swear he was having a rest. Just look at the fans. They're red hot. A majority of supporters reckon that the league should take measures to prevent the small minority of peaceful fans from watching a match from the terraces. They've got a point. If they don't want to join in the fun, they might as well stay home and watch it on cable vision. He's got the ball! As soon as he throws his first punch, we know the opponent will be out for lunch. This bear was really strong. Do you think they have some troll blood in them? Mm, could be. Or maybe his opponent shouldn't speak that way about the family. Clean take up there. Nothing to say. Them into the clear. It's certainly not a point on the scoreboard, but the match isn't over till it's over. You haven't heard a deep insights like that. The players are ready. The referee's guild has decided to hire a bodyguard for each game. Another brilliant idea. And just how effective will one bodyguard be against a stadium full of supporters? True. Could be a bit one-sided. It's a catch! Now this player just needs to survive. He'll have a bit of trouble blowing his nose from now on. That face job is a lot cheaper than a plastic surgeon. I don't know if he planned it, but it won't do him any harm in the looks department. Strange that the lizard men don't win more matches. They've got players that are fast on their feet and others that are quite strong. Yeah, but they've also got players that are weak and others that can't pick up a ball. Yeah, I suppose we look at it from that angle. Check that move. Man, look stupid to me.
a nice sleep. Little baby gets his medicine and he's having a little nap. I've always wondered if an undead player can die. Of course they can, Bob. Really, Jim? one that won't be coming back in a hurry. Mm, what violence! Yes! It's a great spectacle, Bob. When he comes round, he'll be seeing you go. If he comes round. They can start to move forward. A mouthful of knuckle, and then a mouthful of dirt. Yeah, he went down face first. Ah. This player needs some time to get his senses back. What a coward. Get up, loser. The Blood Bowl annals are littered with the stories of teams who've gone bust with crippling debts. And with the cost of doping and bribery on the rise, the problem won't be going away. This is what I call... Blood, arms ripped off, broken teeth, broken bones, and what do they end up with? A miserable defeat for a team that had all the cards in hand to win this match. There can be no excuses. No balls, no victory. I'm not sure that that comment will come across as you meant it to sound. <laughs> he was the best player out there, but on his own, he could not deliver a win. Yeah, the coach is going to have to strengthen his lineup. They defended high up, keeping the opposition to their half of the field. Everybody clean. It can't be. They must have come up with an undetectable doping substance. I hope so. Otherwise, we're in for a dull match. Funny how you get some refs who just can't let a match flow, and others who just take a back seat. Discreet, to say the least. But then discretion is the better part of that. <laughs> <laughs> 